The name of our project is called Andy Warhol's Pop Art Soup. But before we draw a can, design our soup, and do our digital print, let's learn a little bit more about Andy Warhol pop art and what printmaking is. So Andy Warhol was a pop artist, kind of like how Leonardo da Vinci was a Renaissance artist. Pop art was mainly in Europe and America in the 1950s forward, and Andy Warhol was best known for his printmaking. Now the word pop art, pop, comes from popular culture, um, meaning things in our everyday life that we know about because it is popular. Um, it, it also focused on advertisements as well as comics for style. Printmaking is an image transferred from a prepared plate block or screen. So think of like a stamp. That's a printing block. And then it's transferred onto a surface, such as paper or fabric. And our last word we're going to talk about is repetition, which is our principle of art for this project, which means to repeat. So the key is that by the end of this project, we'll have something that has multiples of our image, not just one. So today what we're going to do is we're going to be designing a soup can that's inspired by pop art. Um, it will look something kind of like this, but I'm just going to show you how to draw the can and then it's really up to you to design all around it. Um, there will be some parts today where you are going to stop and take a picture of the black and white version of this um, and then you can color it afterwards because we're going to do something special online with the black and white version. Um, so I'm going to draw a marker. I want you to draw in pencil. When you're done, however, I need you to go back and marker so that your lines are thick uh, and really bold. But first we're going to start with a can. So a can is a cylinder. So to draw a cylinder, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the top. The top is going to be an oval. So go ahead and draw, once again, you're doing this in pencil, an oval about two thirds up the page. So that way you have room for the rest of the can. After that, you're gonna find the farthest left and right point on the oval. So if you have like a ruler, you can take it, slide it over until it reaches the very edge. Then you can draw a line straight down, kind of parallel with the paper for one side of the can. Do the same thing, take your ruler, slide it over until it reaches the edge of the oval, draw a line straight down, parallel to the edge of the page. Now because this is a can, um, the top is a circle and the bottom is also going to be a circle. So we can't really see that circle, um, but instead of a straight line across, you're going to do a curved line to close the bottom of your can. So draw a curved line like that. It's the same curve as this one up here, um, if you want to match how like curved the actual thing is. Um, up top, you're going to want to do the top of the can. So inside of the can, or the top of the can, we're going to do one oval like that, and another smaller oval inside, just so it kind of looks like that texture, that bumpy texture on top of your can. Now for design, this is really up to you. So you've seen the style sheet. I've also written some words that are traditional pop art words, as well as words that maybe we use um, to decorate around your can. So for example, um, I made my can say Mrs. Dyke's Art Soup. Uh, I put a wow at the top, and then I used some stripes, some dots. I used the cloud to accent it. Um, and for my wow, I used an explosion. So I want you to think about making a soup based on something that inspires you in pop culture. So it could be either maybe a game you play, or um, it could be an app that you use if you have a phone. Uh, it could be like a TV show you watch. Um, or it could be about you, so like mine was Mrs. Dyke's Art Soup. Maybe yours is about like a sport you play or something else. But you're going to decide what kind of kind of silly soup you're going to make. So I think I'm going to do sports soup. And then I'm just going to include all the sports that I like. Um, 
So to make the label, just kind of like how we made the top curve and the bottom curve, things on your soup can should curve too. So I'm gonna draw a line that goes like this near the top and a line that curves like that near the bottom. So this is my label and now I'm gonna need to draw stuff inside that label. Um, let's see here. So I wanna do sports. So maybe I'm gonna do the word sport really tall. Sport and then Maybe I'll, maybe I'll add some pop art kind of things to it. And once again, I want you to make your own type of soup. You can just watch this to kind of see how my brainstorming kind of works. So sport. <laughs> and then, let's see here. And it could be soup, it could be stew. Let's do stew. Sport, and then, let's do down here. Stew. And I wrote my words really big and bold, so that way I can see it. And I'm kind of strange, so I like some traditional, but also some non-traditional sports. Um, so for my sports stew, I like swimming. So I think for sports stew for that, I'm gonna put some waves. Basically, I like water sports. Um, and then I like rowing, so I'm going to do a paddle. Maybe with some splashes coming out of it. Maybe on this side I'll just do a big splash. Maybe I'll put water flavored or something weird like that. Water flavor. Eh, that doesn't sound very appetizing, but that's okay. Okay, so I have my sports stew. Um, after that, now I have to kind of think about decorating around it um, with some of my pop art styles. So maybe for this one, because it's sports and it's kind of exciting, um, I will put a pow. Always with an exclamation mark and do an explosion around it. Maybe I'll even put a, a yes and put an explosion around it. Um, sports feel like they should kind of stay around the explosive and powerful type of designs. So probably stay away from clouds. Um, and let's maybe do some spikes around the soup itself. Also, if you haven't noticed, some of my lines are a lot thicker than the others. Like water flavor was kind of skinny, but sports stew was really thick. You could even double it up and make some of the lines even thicker. Um, it will make certain things stand out more than others. Maybe because mine is a water sports stew, I might add some more water type decorations around it. So maybe I can do, I like to do the rays 
Um, I think those really help with this. So sport is my middle. I'm going to kind of make rays that come out. Put them into my corners. All right, I'm lining things up in the middle so that way it looks like that coming from behind my design, I have these rays coming out like a sun behind it. And then maybe I'll do some droplets on the outside, kind of cartoony droplets because pop art kind of is cartoony. All right. All right, so once you're at this point, we're going to take a photo. So you should use your device and focus on the um, picture so that it looks as black and white as possible and take a photo. Um, and then once it's on your device, you can play with the contrast so that way it really does look black and white. And then you will be using the um, online converter, which is in the link in the materials above. Let me show you how that's going to look once you're there. All right, so once you have your image on your device, you're going to go to the convertimage.net website. Um, if you're in class with, or if you're one of my students, it's going to be above in the material section. Um, so this is the pop art portrait generator. We're going to be using it for a picture though. Uh, step one is that you need to choose your picture, and it needs to be one of these. So I think mine's a JPEG. Um, you're going to use the Andy Warhol effect, which is already in the link, and you're going to select your image. So click select your image. There's my image. And then you need to agree to their terms slide to the yes, and then send this image. So you're uploading and then agreeing and send the image. The next page, it will show you how it will look. So you can choose what color combination. So here's my image, but then here's the color combinations. So choose which ones, they're kind of blurry, but you'll be able, you'll be able to see them better. Uh, but choose which ones you want to do. You can see that the the backgrounds are um, clear, and then this color strip right here is what the lines will be. So once you choose which version you like, click Validate. All right. And then you can download the image. So you, so you can see mine. I click Download, it's downloading, but then you can see how mine turned out. And here's a close-up of how my pop art soup turned out in the Andy Warhol converter.